I hear people say FTP, screw the police all the time. I get it. You're frustrated. I, I understand how you feel. I'm an attorney who witnesses more than anybody else. I regularly sue police officers for doing the wrong thing. I see them at their, their worst. I also have the unique perspective of being someone who was wrongfully convicted of a crime I didn't commit. And then, on appeal, I won the appeal and that conviction was overturned. I was also arrested on false charges by a police sergeant who wrote a false report of a serious crime. I faced trial. The only reason I was acquitted was because someone videotaped the encounter and proved that that police sergeant did not tell the truth. We know now she didn't do it purposefully. What happened to her? She was promoted to lieutenant and now she's in charge of internal affairs of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. She's the one that's supposed to hold police accountable and make sure they don't do exactly what she did to me. So, but I will still never say FTP. Police are too important. This is our justice system. These are the actors. We've got the police, attorneys, judges, and jury. The police, they show up. They collect evidence. They do a thorough investigation. And then they're supposed to write a great report. And they submit that report to the prosecution. The prosecution then sees if they think a crime is committed. They are also a constitutional check on the police. Make sure the police didn't violate anybody's constitutional rights. If the prosecution thinks a crime is committed, they will then file charges. The defense attorney is then a constitutional check on the prosecution and the police to make sure none of them have violated anybody's constitutional rights. The defense also presents a case most favorable to the defendant, the prosecution, most favorable to the state, and that all goes before a judge who is a constitutional check on both the defense and the prosecution and the police. Do you see all these constitutional checks here? That's important. It's very important. The judge is also sometimes a trier of fact and the jury. The jury is so vital. The jury is a trier of fact. The jury decides whether a person is guilty or not guilty along with the judge sometime. Do you see the system and how it works? Take the police out of it. What happens? You take the police out, there is no justice. They are a vital role to our justice system. I would submit that the police are the most important part of our justice system. A good police officer can do the most good. Now that police officer, he's also the most powerful part of our justice system. He can take your life. Can you imagine having that much power? A police officer can take your life. And a police officer decides what goes to the prosecution. He's a gatekeeper. He decides. And if a police officer is investigating another police officer, he decides if his police officer colleague gets to the prosecution. Police officer also does the investigation and is there to collect evidence that you can't collect later. There's evidence there. And if a police officer does not do their job properly, that evidence is lost forever. And the police officer decides who they believe and who they don't believe, who they're going to scrutinize, who they're not going to scrutinize. If they have a tunnel vision and just really want to go after somebody, they can. That is so much power. The police have the ability to tip the scales of justice in a way that nobody else does, especially because judges and juries believe police officers like it or not. Their word is more important than yours. With all of this going on, they are the most powerful people in our criminal justice center system. The good ones can do the most good. The good ones can establish justice. The bad ones, not so much. And the police are definitely the most important part. Without what they do, none of this can work the most important part of our criminal justice system. Let me tell you about Officer Nutsman, Boulder City Police Department, one of the most ethical people I've ever met in my life. He is the epitome of what a good police officer is supposed to be. When us as criminal defense attorneys, we see that Nutsman's on the case, 
sometimes we, we just look at it and, and just, we don't know what to do because he's saying there's evidence and we know how ethical and honest he is. And he can put the nail in the coffin if the guy's guilty. Nail in the coffin. Do you know what else he does? He writes evidence and, and documents the evidence that is favorable to the defendant. He's independent. He approaches it as someone who's supposed to collect all evidence. Why? Because his focus is on justice and nothing else. That is what a police officer is supposed to be like. Officer Nutzman is the kind of police officer we think every police officer is. He's fantastic. Police officers have so much power. They need to be held accountable. People are going after police and, and having these protests and, and so upset because they have lost faith in our police officers. They do not believe that the police officers who have so much power are using that power correctly. What do we need to do? We need to hold them accountable. And that strongest accountability is going to come from inside that police department. If you're an officer and you see your buddy doing something that, that maybe isn't right, or maybe he's just upset and he's got that tunnel vision and, and he's lost his cool, pull him aside. It, it, just, hey man, let's do this right. Lead from the front. Fight against the politics and the police department and everything else. Because we need you. We need the good police officers to stand up. We need true justice and we need to see it.